All right, so many people I know are always asking questions about Motorola CPS and things like that. And what I usually have to tell them is that typically you have something on your startup screen that looks like this. Unless you've checked the box that says show introduction screen on, chart, uh, on startup, if you've unchecked that, it won't show this screen. But if you go into the tutorials menu on most of your Motorola CPS software, it'll pull up a tutorials and then if you need to know how to set up CPS channels for instance you come up here it'll open another menu create delete and define conventional modes now of course this assumes that you have one a computer that uh, will run this I know you need Adobe Flash to get this to play uh, I'm actually running this on a Motorola MW800 computer so you'd think that Motorola CPS software would play on a Motorola computer. Conventional mode setup. It's going to start going through its tutorial. But that's how easy it is. If you need to learn how to set up things, you need to have a licensed version of the software, of course. Have a computer that can run it. And then just watch the tutorials and read what it says in the tutorials also. And follow along. If you have hardware, if you have radios and cables and all that and another computer, go for it. Uh, you can learn a lot from the tutorials. Here it's talking about CPS conventional mode setup and it's running through all the little windows you need to go through to set it up. I see PL tones, I see the deviation, uh, transmit frequency, all of that. Anyway, don't be too afraid to use the tutorials. I mean, I've been doing this for many years, and I still use the tutorials because there's a lot of information in there. And it beats calling up Motorola technical support and basically going through their queue and being farmed around a bunch of ACD menus, and then you get someone that doesn't have a clue anyway. So, use the tutorial.